Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I've got a friend coming around for tea in a little while, a couple of hours, um, but I've got um, I've got time to do a little page in my create this book um, before she gets here. So uh, I've got everything ready. We're going to have a nice little afternoon tea. I've even got my little uh, three tier cake stand out. <laughs> Don't get the chance to do that very often. So yeah, I've just got time to make a page in my create this book, which I haven't done for ages. And this is pages 94 and 95. So the prompt is create a progression. Draw something simple, add to it, keep adding until you can no longer distinguish the original drawing. So I was just going to do this kind of doodle or something, but then I thought I think it needs to be something specific. And whenever I go to draw a simple picture, the first thing, one of the first things that ever occurs to me is a house. Always has been since I was a kid. I think a lot of us do that. So I'm going to draw a little house and then fill both pages with a whole load of other houses. So I've got a whole kind of housing estate <laughs> filling both pages and you won't be able to tell which the original one was anymore and then I'm going to add colour of course because <laughs> I can't not add colour so I'm going to uh, binge watch something speed through this and see you at the other end Right, I have covered this one page with my little houses. Um, I genuinely can't, I know it was around here somewhere, but I genuinely can't remember which was the first house now. So that's good. <laughs> um, I've decided I've got too much handache to carry on and cover the other page with the houses as well. I might do some words on there or something. I, I keep thinking of that old song, um, something about little boxes, little boxes all made out of tiki tacky. how did that go so i might find the words to that <laughs> little boxes in all in a row or something i don't know i might do that so now i'm gonna i'm ready to add some color i've got some of these artful pencils that came in the artful box last time i'm gonna try this little tip um that i saw the other day where a lady was dipping her pencils in petroleum jelly um, and you could get much more solid vivid colour uh, with a lot less effort um, she did say you need to wipe your pencils off after because it will carry on kind of eating into them <laughs> if you leave them um, and she was using quite cheap kind of Crayola, Crayola type pencils um, and they looked really good so I'm going to try that I've given myself a deliberately very limited palette just really greys and terracotta kind of colours so this is the kind of the estate that I used to live on <laughs> this is the kind of colours that were all around us okay I'm going quiet again now I've been watching uh, Johnny on uh, Just Johnny Creations talking about his weight loss journey fascinating inspiring I must I must get my act together and do the same thing I'm fed up being 
well not even several pounds several stone overweight it's starting to get me down now okay well I'm gonna shut up now and I'm just gonna start colouring see how this little tip goes maybe I'll start with the roofs Um, so ooh, I've done that last bit with no light on <laughs> hope you can see what I was doing so um, yeah I finished um, colouring in and adding some shadow to my little houses um, and I've written some of the lyrics of the Little Boxes song by Malvina Reynolds apparently she wrote it in 1962 I'd have been one year old <laughs> um yes that's that page done I quite like that one so uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that it's been a really hot day I've got my hair all tied up <laughs> it's a hot humid day here in the UK and um, it's just starting to get to twilight now and I'm gonna go outside and see if I can do some bat spotting because there's a lot of gnats about and uh, sometimes that means there'll also be a lot of bats about and I love watching the bats so tonight's the night okay thank you very much for uh, watching I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again really soon <laughs>